should really start out by saying, you know, welcome, welcome to the community, everybody. Thanks for joining this call. Um, yeah, I just want to kick it off that we have a, a new team member, JD, who I think many people know through the community um, for your for your extensive long form threads <laughs> on everything from Cosmos and Interchain to uh, I don't know, you cover a lot of stuff. But we're really happy to have you. You've obviously just started with Agoric, so it's 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 a great new face and really excited. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm really excited to be here. Thirtieth uh, Agoric community call. Um, this is my first Twitter Spaces, so it's uh, it's nice to make my debut in this new role <laughs> here. Um, and yeah, just for anybody that doesn't know me, I'm JD. I've been in and around Cosmos since late 2020. You may have seen me from Kepler to Osmosis to my time with Informal Systems. And I'm really excited now to be joining Agoric as uh, in community operations. Um, you can find me on Twitter, obviously. Reach out here. I'm on Discord as well. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm really grateful for the opportunity to. Uh, play a role helping to shape a project that I've long been interested in and that I'm very excited about. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I think I think we'll definitely be having some some more spaces with you in, in the future and probably diving into some specific topics. I know you know you and I have been speaking about independently, so looking forward to that. And yeah, likewise. Uh, here we go. Cool. All right. So yeah, thanks to you for joining. Um, yeah, I guess a really quick, you know, I, I think maybe even some of the listeners here were part of um, the interop conference put on by Axelar in Denver that, you know, transitioned into East Denver. Um, awesome event, um, you know, I think really setting a staple for what interoperability is and, and how all these communities, um, you know, can really work towards that. Um, you know, we have Roland and Vanessa here. I don't know if, you know, my question is always like, what are the key takeaways from those events, right? And that we can share with the community that, you know, maybe wasn't there. Um, so I don't know if there's anything, you know, specific for you folks that, that you found valuable. Absolutely. I mean, XLR really put all forces in order to ship Interop Summit and it showed, right? They brought together the Cosmos community and also brought some external newer parties to learn more about the interchain eco ecosystem and interoperable opportunities overall. Um, it was wonderful catching up with a bunch of folks, seeing a bunch of uh, zones that are excited about talking about agoric activity, including the launch of IST and supporting it in their zone. So uh, overall, I think it was a fantastic event. And um, there was also this amazing agoric enthusiast that had a full red suit She's listening here. So it was pretty epic. And yeah, I, I know yourself? Dean. Yeah, go ahead, Santi. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I was going to Santi from his perspective, too. Yeah, I don't know if, 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 <laughs> if, if Jeet or the red suit is more known at this point. I, I, I think, um, I don't think he needed the suit, but it was, it was, <laughs> it was helpful. Uh, so that was great. Um, yeah, what about you, Roland? Were any kind of big takeaways for you from uh, Interop? So I wasn't able to make it to Interop, unfortunately. Uh, Dean Dean was there uh, sort of semi-representing semi product, and then also uh, Brendan, who's on the call, was there as well. Um, but yeah, I, I know that it was both Interop and East Denver were sort of really, really interesting. Dean had speaking roles in, in both places. Um, he's actually sick unfortunately today so wasn't able to make the community call uh but uh yeah a lot, i think a lot came back from that and really excited to you know as always sort of seeing cosmos conferences come up over the course of the year you know both uh cosmoverse and gateway coming up at, at, both in the spring and the fall uh, are going to be really exciting yeah apologies i think i turned you and, and brendan into the same product person um but yes <laughs> that's good to hear I also think I also think the division of the two stages between the hacker stage and the like more broad general stage was a really good move because if you want to go back and look at the content, you could just cruise through the hacker stage far more efficiently if you wanted to learn more about the different technologies and development. Whereas um, some of the broader discussions on the future of um, crypto, other efforts, uh, some ZK 
session or, you know, what is the real metric to measure in DeFi? I mean, there were just nicer, uh, more enriched discussions there. So um, for those that want to like look back on the talks, I highly recommend um, going through uh, some of even some of the more general stage options just to see more like hear some of the discussions from some of the leaders in the ecosystem. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think I mentioned this elsewhere in another call, but that it was nice to speak to developers outside the Cosmos, uh, you know, circle um, on how they see Cosmos, you know, what, what interests them, you know, talking about them about Agoric, a lot of interest there. Um, so that was kind of a special thing that, you know, this interoperability conference was happening with, with obviously one of the largest events, crypto events in the world <laughs> um, uh, at the same time. So um, actually, this is kind of a transition too, because I, I want to see if we can get you know, um, if some of you noticed yesterday, um, you know, we, we, you know, we co-announced the uh, Chainboard Academy uh, uh, boot camp. So really the Agoric's first boot camp. Um, and, uh, you know, again, that's being put on by the Ch Chainboard Academy folks. Um, you know, it's a 10 week program and I, we, we did invite them to come up here. I don't know if they're speakers yet, cause I'd love for them to share what they're doing with that. Um, Let's see if we can get them up here. Yeah, I think we're looking who is Alexander is, I believe, joining. I could give some background to yeah, yeah, Alexander well, while he uh, gets everything connected. So, uh, you know, we're really happy to be working with Alex uh, and his team at BytePitch. We've just known them for now, I want to say, a bit over a year. They've contributed open source components to uh, the Agoric ecosystem. They've also um, helped us in a pinch when we needed uh, workshop presenters and support at Gateway, and they flew out to Prague and gave um, workshops to developers to learn about the lending protocol that they contributed as an open source component. And in their spare time, they thought that Agoric was so wonderful, and this is my opinion, Alex, you can totally correct me, uh, that they wanted to add a module for uh, the Chainboard Academy to teach developers about Agoric smart contracts. So it looks like he's here now. I'll go ahead and let him take over. Yeah, thanks, Vanessa, thanks. Um, yeah, so uh, true on all points. It's our second year uh, with, with, with Agoric. And uh, like uh, we're, we're actually like a Web3 focused dev house originally from Portugal, but now more, more and more remote. And we also have this Chainboard Academy, which is like, you know, a Web3 Academy for developers who would like to switch into Web3 from Web2 or for like, you know, computer science uh, in general. Um, and yeah, I, I think we have reached a level of understanding of uh, Agoric technology that is like worth sharing, hopefully. And uh, yeah, over the course of the like uh, one plus years, we've built a number of bounties and uh, did present the workshop twice. So once in uh, in Bogota, uh, in the Colombia, and another one was in uh, Prague. Uh, we're also working on our first product for short-term NFT rentals. It's going to be launched in Agoric mainnet, hopefully soon. Uh, well. Uh, Within a few months from from today, let's say, and uh, so today uh, today I'm thrilled to announce the launch of the Agoric Bootcamp uh, as part of the Chainboard, and uh, it is designed to equip developers with the uh, with like all the knowledge and skills that they need to build decentralized applications on Agoric. Uh, as a participant, one will be assigned uh, a mentor to to guide through all the process, uh, and in addition to like a peer to peer learning in uh, in groups. So people will walk away with the ability to build, test, and deploy their own apps on the Goring chain, including the understanding of the like the basics of Agoric SDK, and then the hardened JavaScript framework and the, the application the deployment pipeline uh, as well. Um, uh, as a side effect, uh, people will probably get like a solid understanding of the Web3 ecosystem and the opportunities it presents to developers, or like should I rather say, uh, like a snapshot of the spectrum of opportunities because like this market moves really fast. Um, but still, like we, we we don't require any Web3 developer background. Like it, it's good if if a person is keen to to learn and like uh, maybe uh, obsessed in a good way about the, the, this whole area. But it's fine if you just have like a, you know basic computer science fundamentals and uh, uh, understanding of uh, JavaScript in any of those reincarnations, not like be, be it, uh, like a front end side or Node.js backend or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, so uh, the, the the premise for this is like the, the Web3 ecosystem is still in early stages, right? And uh, which means there's a lot of room and innovation and it's uh, not even, not, not too late uh, for sure to like uh, jump into it. Um, and um, 
uh, one of my favorite features with uh, with Agoric is that uh, it's it's easy to learn if you have some background, uh, and it's also it, it puts you like in a secure environment, um, uh, unlike some other popular chains. So you, you, it, it's it's not that easy to mess up with the client uh, funds or like deposited tokens or uh, like. Um, uh, value tokens or, or, or whatever else. Uh, so, yeah, so if, if, um, if you know some JavaScript, understand uh, some in, um, fundamentals, curious about Web3, I urge you to consider joining this bootcamp. It's 10 weeks long. It's uh, like one uh, lecture per week with extensive homework assignments, one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorships, and um, you will be able to like build and uh, deliver and present your own final project in the end. That we will help you to to build and shape, and maybe maybe even to market. We'll see. Um, uh, it is pretty intense, to be honest. So, like, if, if you work full time, you will still have to like find a way to allocate like about ten hours per week uh, in order to, to to keep up. But the like the good side of it is that you, you end up like you know fully equipped. It's not it's not a theoretical course. It's actually like practical exercise for for your development muscles. Uh, what else? Yeah, so there, there, there's a link on the on the agoric.com homepage at the moment, like at the very top at the banner. Uh, the applications are open until the end of the month, and the first lecture will take place on April 3rd. Uh, so yeah, if you're curious, let's build something together uh, for the better decentralized internet for us all. Thank you. Absolutely. Amazing, amazing. And uh, uh, Alex, um, in order to, to register for the bootcamp, uh, what, what's the best link for people to head to? Is it is it Chainboard.academy? Um, everything is last minute. Chain, uh, Chainboard.academy is not there yet, but there is a link on the agoric.com homepage at the moment that will lead you to like a, like a wait list where you can leave Perfect. your email and then we will reach out to you and uh, provide further instructions. Perfect. Yeah, and, and from Agoric, we'll make sure to we'll, we'll tweet out the, uh, the sign-up link and include in the uh, YouTube notes later. So... Mm -hmm. We'll make sure to get that out there for people. Oh, well, awesome, Alex. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. I don't know if there's anyone else who wants to comment on that or uh, Vanessa. I just have to say, uh, you know, this is their independent effort and they've, you know, thankfully they've shared that as they develop, develop the content, they have an internal developer who's taking the course himself to make sure that everything works for when you all join, which I thought was very kind of them. So thank you for that additional effort and care for a uh, new entrance to the Agoric community. Uh, yeah, my pleasure. Thanks, Wes. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Alex. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm, yeah, I, I kind of want to transition some some updates from the Agoric side. Maybe Roland um, on the product, in the product world, you can you can get us up to speed. Yeah, sure. Um, and, and so the the release that's upcoming on the on the Agoric side, or the big release that's upcoming, um, is the Vault's release for InterProtocol. And just to remind folks that that includes uh, a whole bunch of contracts. So it's it's vaults, oracles, liquidation contracts, uh, associated governance contracts, the protocol reserve, all of those sort of working together. But it also includes a bunch of platform upgrades too. So state sync for validators, uh, uh, the ability to upgrade contracts in place, uh, which is really important uh, to make sure that the, the JavaScript state is sort of able to be able to be maintained through chain upgrades. Uh, and so uh, all of those are coming together for one single release here. And what we've started doing is actually testing it in pieces. So uh, during February, I think in the last community call, I mentioned that I first time seen the vaults front end. Um, I am... Uh, now, now able to say that the Vault's front end and the Vault's contracts are have passed the initial functional UX testing. So um, able to create a Vault, adjust a Vault, close a Vault. Uh, all of that is really fun, uh, and I'm I'm sort of excited that that has come together. What is what is coming up next on the the user facing side is layering in uh, liquidations, which uh, we we had a large session with. Um, some members of the economic committee, some members of former uh, Agoric and, and current Agoric advisors from uh, RMIT in Melbourne, and made sure that the liquidation design uh, was was robust or be robust. So made a few changes to that over the past. Uh, I think that happened right before interop, um, and so liquidation is still getting worked on, and we expect that to come in some roughly in in the next week or at least the first version of it uh, for testing. 
Simply Staking has been running a testnet of their own. Uh, they are coordinating our decentralized Oracle network uh, along with four other nodes that are validators on the Agoric platform. So that, that testnet has been running for a while separately. And once all the pieces come together, then we'll have a uh, an application that includes the vaults contracts, includes liquidation, includes uh, live Oracle prices, uh, as well as the protocol reserve and, and all of those interactions. So um, all of that is sort of coming together across multiple test nets at the same time, which has been cool to see. Um, I know that uh, our, our vaults beta campaign has gone out. And so we've, we got a bunch of signups and I'm, I'm guessing a few folks maybe that have signed up are on this call as well. And from a timing standpoint, uh, we really want to make sure that the validation has happened internally, uh, and you know there aren't there aren't clear things that need to get fixed before we we bring external folks in. So I think that that beta campaign will happen when when we feel like things are ready, but before launch. Uh, and you know we're really excited to bring in people that have not been sort of into intimately involved with the development process to make sure that. You know, we get product feedback. We we see anything that needs to get changed, uh, and you know, we really appreciate folks folks signing up for that. So um, that that will sort of get get layered in once liquidations are ready, once Oracle the Oracle network has been put in as well, uh, and uh, we've got a coherent system to test. Um, along those lines, uh, I mentioned platform upgrades. So those were a longer pull on the release, and uh, state sync. Uh, feels like it's getting to a good spot uh, based on Slack conversations yesterday. Uh, and then contract upgrade, there's a little work left there, but e each of those are getting uh, put in for testing in March. Uh, so over the next couple of weeks, we should be in a good spot with, with each of those. Um, we also need to schedule contract audits. So that's something that will, will happen uh, in March. And um, then with, with that, we sort of have everything together for the release and uh, current current targets puts us sort of mid-April, uh, but that may pend audits, it may pend, you know, uh, additional feedback uh, that, that we get during testing. So we have, we have a whole bunch of economic testing that we expect to do on liquidations to make sure that the model is robust against, you know, a large downturn, which, you know, happens occasionally in crypto. So uh, I think that was a lot, but that was, those are my updates from the product side. Happy to take any questions there. No, it's great. Very thorough. Update. Wonderful. Thank you, Roland. Thank you. Yeah, so I think, um, you know, today's a shorter call. So, um, you know, just a few, uh, you know, event notices that, you know, the Inner Protocol IST community calls next week on March 16th. Uh, that's 1230 Eastern, uh, 1730 UTC. Um, we don't have actually any Agoric specific events that we're attending in March, but in April, um, we are kind of, increasing our footprint in universities. Um, so the Cornell, uh, Cornell University has a uh, blockchain club, as does the uh, MIT blockchain club, both in April. Um, and then probably some of us here are going to be attending consensus uh, in Austin, Texas in April. Uh, so if you are heading to that, we'd definitely love to love to meet and chat. Um, but yeah, that pretty much covers it. Is there any, uh, anything else anyone wants to add before we, we close the community call? Or if there are any community questions, obviously, feel free to jump up. Cool. All right. Uh, that wraps the 30th community call. Thanks everyone for joining. JD, great to have you. Uh, Jeet, keep wearing that suit. <laughs> and uh, Roll Vanessa, <laughs> thanks so much for your time. And uh, if we could also put in a vote for Hannah to have her Heelys on at future events. I mean, oh, I, yeah. I wonder <laughs> one day if I could be as smooth as that one day. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Oh, uh, awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. And thank you, uh, Alex, of course, for Chainboard Academy, all the work you're doing with PyPitch. Um, again, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure to tweet that out, uh, the registration link for that. And uh, yeah, we'll keep, uh, keep those updates going as, as we approach the uh, start time of that bootcamp, uh, which I believe is April 3rd. Um, so it is, yes. It yeah. is. Still April 3rd. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait for that. So yeah. Thanks everyone for joining. Uh, we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.